Welcome back to Math Dogs. If you're new to the channel, please comment, like, and subscribe. If you have any questions, please comment down below. Today's topic is rectangle area word problems, and we have four examples for you. Remember, we believe math is better with your dog, so call your pups. Let's get started. Problem number one says the length of a rectangle is four less than three times its width. The area of the rectangle is 32 square kilometers. Find the length and the width of the rectangle. So the problem asks you to find the length and the width of a rectangle. And we're going to draw a figure to help us visualize what's happening in the problem. So we have a rectangle, and we know that the area of that rectangle is 32 square kilometers. The problem says the length of a rectangle is 4 less than 3 times its width. So I'm going to call the width x. And then I'm going to write an expression for the length of the rectangle. It says it's 4 less than, less than means subtraction, and the word than switches the order. So 4 is written first in words, but we'll write it second in symbols, and 3 times the width is written second in words, but we'll write it first in symbols because of the word than, and so my expression for the length is 3x minus 4. Now I can write my equation. I know that the area of a rectangle is equal to the length times the width. And so the area we know is 32, so we'll substitute that. And the length times the width will be x times 3x minus 4. So now we'll solve the equation. On the right side, I have a distributive property which I'm going to do first. So 32 is already simplified on the left. x times 3x is 3x squared, and x times negative 4 is negative 4x. Since this is a quadratic equation because of the square on the 3x squared, I need to set one side equal to 0 and factor in order to solve it. So I'm going to subtract 32 from both sides, 32 minus 32 is 0. 3x squared minus 4x minus 32 is just expressed because there's no like terms. Now I'm going to factor. Most trinomials break into two binomials since there's no greatest common factor. And I have to figure out how to factor 3x squared minus 4x minus 32. 3x squared can be made by multiplying 3x times x as the first terms in the binomial. And then I have some choices. I could multiply 1 times 32 to get 32, 2 times 16 to get 32, or 4 times 8 to get 32. I'm going to use 4 and 8 so that I can have a subtraction to 4x in the middle term. So I'm going to put 8 with the 3x and 4 with the x. So my outside and inside would be 12x minus 8x, which would be 4x. Since I want it negative, I'm going to put the negative on the 4 to get negative 12x and a positive on the 8. So negative 12x plus 8x will be negative 4x. Now I'm going to set each factor equal to 0 and solve each of the factors. 3x plus 8 equals 0 and x minus 4 equals 0. To solve 3x plus 8 equals 0, I'll subtract 8 from both sides. 3x equals negative 8. And then I'll divide by 3 on both sides. x would equal negative 8 thirds. And since this is an application problem, and we want to find the length and the width, which is a measure of distance, we can't have a negative distance. And so that answer cannot be true. For the other factor, I'm going to add 4 to both sides. And so I would find out that x equals 4, which is a positive measure for the distance. And so I know the width in my rectangle will be 4 kilometers. Then I'm going to substitute 4 for the x in the length expression. 3 times 4 is 12, and 12 minus 4 is 8. And so I find out that the length would be 8 kilometers. And so to answer the question, the width of the rectangle is 4 kilometers, and the length of the rectangle is 8 kilometers. Problem number 2 says the length of a rectangle is 7 more than a number. The width is 5 more than that same number. If the area of the rectangle is 80 square meters, find the length and the width of the rectangle. So again, I'm looking for the length and the width of the rectangle, and I'm going to draw a figure to help 
us visualize what's happening in the problem. I know that the area of that rectangle is 80 square meters, so I'll label that in the diagram. Now it says the length of a rectangle is 7 more than a number, so I'm going to call that number x, and I'm going to represent the length as x plus 7, since it says 7 more than a number. It says the width is 5 more than that same number. So again, I have more than, which tells me addition. And so I'll write the expression for the width as x plus 5. Now I'm going to set up my equation. I know that area of a rectangle is equal to the length times the width. So the area will substitute 80. The length is x plus 7 and the width is x plus 5. So I have to use FOIL on the right side in order to simplify it. So I would have 80 equals x times x is x squared, x times 5 is 5x, 7 times x is 7x, and 7 times 5 is 35. I have some simplifying to do on the right side, so 80 will be equal to x squared plus 12x plus 35. Now I have a quadratic equation because of the square on the x. So I'm going to set one side equal to 0 by subtracting 80 from both sides. So 0 will be equal to x squared plus 12x minus 45. To solve the quadratic equation, I'm going to factor x squared plus 12x minus 45. So x squared is made by multiplying x times x as the first terms. And for 45, I have a choice of 1 times 45, 3 times 15, and 5 times 9. But I know that my outside-inside product, when I add them together, they have to subtract to give me 12. That means I want to use plus 15 and minus 3. Now I'm going to set each factor equal to 0 and solve. So x plus 15 would equal 0, or x minus 3 would equal 0. I'm going to subtract 15 from both sides and find out that x equals negative 15. But again, since this is length and width and a distance, I can't have a negative distance. So that answer can't be true. For the other factor, I'm going to add 3 on both sides and find out that x equals 3. So now I know that my number is 3, and I can use that to find the length and the width of the rectangle by substituting. So the width would be x plus 5, and now we know that x equals 3, so that would be 3 plus 5, which would be 8 meters for the width. And I'm going to substitute 3 for the x in the length. 3 plus 7 is 10 meters, and so I know my length is 10 meters, and my width is 8 meters. Problem number 3 says the length of a rectangle is twice the number minus 3. The width of the rectangle is 8 less than that number. The area of the rectangle is 84 square centimeters. Find the length and width. So the problem asks us to find the length and width, and again we're going to draw a diagram to help us visualize. So I have a rectangle and I know that the area of the rectangle is 84 square centimeters. And now I have to write an expression for the length and the width. It says the length of the rectangle is twice a number minus 3. So I'm going to call that number x. Twice a number means 2x, and minus 3 is just subtracting 3. So the expression for the length would be 2x minus 3. It says the width of the rectangle is 8 less than that number. So that number we know is x, less than is subtraction, and the word than switches the order. So even though 8 is written first in words, it will be written second in symbols, and the x, or that number, will be written first in symbols. So the expression for the width is x minus 8. And now I'm going to set up my equation. I know that area of a rectangle is equal to length times width. The area is 84 square centimeters. And then I'm going to multiply 2x minus 3 times x minus 8. So I have a FOIL 
on the right side of the equation, 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times negative 8 is negative 16x. Negative 3 times x is negative 3x, and negative 3 times negative 8 is positive 24. I have like terms in the middle, so my equation would say 84 equals 2x squared minus 19x plus 24. Since this is a quadratic equation because the square on the 2x squared, I'm going to set one side equal to 0 by subtracting 84 from both sides. So 0 would equal 2x squared minus 19x minus 60. And now I'm going to factor. So most trinomials break into two binomials if they're factorable. 2x squared can be made by multiplying 2x times x. I know that my outside inside products have to subtract to give me 19 in the middle. And my choices of factors for 60 would be 1 and 60, 2 times 30, 3 times 20, 4 times 15, 5 times 12, and 6 times 10. So I have a lot of different choices. Since I know that the middle term is 19, I'm going to choose 5 and 12. 2x times 12 will give me 24x, and 5 times x will give me 5x, and 24 minus 5 is 19. So I want the negative 24, positive 5, to give me the negative 19x in the middle. Now I'm going to set each factor equal to 0 and solve to find out what the number x is so I can substitute it back and find the length and the width. To solve 2x plus 5 equals 0, I'll subtract 5 from both sides, so 2x will equal negative 5, and then divide by 2, x equals negative 5 halves, and again, distance cannot be negative, so that answer can't be true. For the other factor, I will add 12 to both sides and find out that the number that represents the expressions for the length and the width is 12. So now I'm going to substitute back in the expressions. x minus 8 would be 12 minus 8, and so I know the width would be 4 centimeters. For the length, I would have 2 times 12 minus 3. 2 times 12 is 24, and 24 minus 3 is 21. So the length would be 21 centimeters, and the width would be 4 centimeters. Problem number 4 says the area of a rectangle is 55 square inches. If the length is 5 less than twice the number and the width is 4 less than 3 times that number, find the length and width of the rectangle. So again, we're looking for the length and the width of a rectangle, and we're going to draw a picture to help us visualize. So I have a rectangle, and I know that the area of that rectangle is 55 square inches. And then I'm going to write an expression for my length and an expression for my width. It says the length is 5 less than twice a number, so I'm going to call the number x. I have less than, which means subtraction. The word than is going to flip-flop the order. So even though 5 is written first in words, it's going to be written second in symbols. Subtraction because of the less than, and twice a number will be 2x. So my expression for the length is 2x minus 5. The width is 4 less than 3 times that number. So again, I have less than. Than is going to flip-flop the order. So 4 is written first in words, but it will be written second in symbols. And 3 times that number will be 3x. So the expression for my width will be 3x minus 4. Now I'm going to set up my equation. I would have area equals length times width for a rectangle. I know that the area is 55, and I'm going to multiply the length times the width, 2x minus 5, times 3x minus 4. So again, I have a foil on the right side. 55 equals 2x times 3x is 6x squared. 2x times negative 4 is negative 8x. Negative 5 times 3x is negative 15x and negative 5 times negative 4 is positive 20. I have like terms in the middle, so 55 will equal 6x squared. 
negative 8x minus 15x is negative 23x plus 20. I have a quadratic equation because of the square on the 6x squared, so I'm going to subtract 55 from both sides to make one side equal to 0. So 0 will equal 6x squared minus 23x minus 35. And now I'm going to factor. Most trinomials will break into two binomials if they're factorable. 6x squared, I can choose 1 times 6 or 2 times 3. First, I'm going to try 6x times x. And for 35, I can choose 1 and 35 or 5 and 7. But I know that my outside product combined with my inside product has to subtract to give me 23. So I'm going to use 7 and 5 so that 6x times 5 would be 30x minus 7 times x is 7x and 30 minus 7 is 23. So I want a negative 30 and a positive 7 to give me negative 23. Now I'm going to set each factor equal to 0. 6x plus 7 equals 0 and x minus 5 equals 0. Just like the last problems, I'm going to subtract 7 from both sides and divide by 6 and find out that I get a negative distance, which we can't have in real-world application problems like this. For my other factor, I'm going to add 5 to both sides and find out that x equals 5. So now I know my number, and I'm going to substitute that back in for the length and the width. So for the width, I would have 3 times 5, since x equals 5, minus 4. 3 times 5 is 15, and 15 minus 4 is 11 inches for the width. Now I'm going to substitute 5 in my length. 2 times 5 minus 5, 2 times 5 is 10, and 10 minus 5 is 5 inches for the length. So the length of the rectangle is 5 inches, and the width of the rectangle is 11 inches. So that's it for examples of quadratic area word problems dealing with rectangles. We know these problems aren't easy, but don't give up on them. Keep practicing. We know you can get it if you try. As we say at Math Dogs, you got this.